What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spider Kel back with you one more again. Not with a review this time, but I still appreciate you checking out your boy on my poor man's channel. No, I just I'm just hyped right now. I just want to express how hyped I am. Cause tomorrow is Justice League. I've been waiting for this movie for so long, guys. And I am such I am such a big dork slash nerd slash geek or whatever you want to call it when it comes to like comics manga anime comic book movies you know anime based movies you know like what's no it wasn't called the day after tomorrow it was uh i can't remember the name of the uh the movie uh what's his name tom cruise was in and it was a manga where he was like in his bio suit and uh, he keep reliving the same day over and over like humans are going to war with this alien species and he keeps dying in different ways and he's just trying to create, uh, fix that day. You know, he keep relive, reliving that day and he's trying to, you know, uh, fix that day so, you know, he can continue on with his life. But he just constantly dies in like continuous, different, several ways, gruesome ways. The manga, I, I can't remember the name of the manga or the movie. I want to call it the day after tomorrow, but I don't think it's the day after tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys, about the camera angle. I'm, I'm driving right now. I'm doing the bad thing. And because I'm a poor man, I don't have, like, anything to mount my phone on in my car. So I can have both both wheels on my car. I mean, excuse me, both hands on the wheel. <laughs> uh, but edit that part out. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm hyped, bro. I am hyped. I cannot wait to see this fucking movie. Oh, man. And it better not let me. I feel like in my heart, deep in my heart, after all the trailers, you know, and which was a lot of trailers, they did an excellent, excellent job when it came to, uh, when it come, came to the advertisement and the revealing of the movie, you know, uh, as far as trailers are concerned. They learned their lessons uh, with Batman v Superman because people was talking so much shit when they revealed Doomsday. I was mainly talking shit because Doomsday was in the movie, you know, but I digress. But Zack Snyder's ass, when I go see this movie, he better not do anything stupid like kill Superman and Batman v Superman. Cause that was dumb. That that was dumb. They really, they literally, look at all this Twilight action. They literally eliminate the possibility for other movies you know like they try to it like for the trailers for back uh justice league it, it seemed like they tried to they tried to like write in like batman slash bruce wayne like all butt hurt over superman as if they had like this long years of friendship slash relationship which they did not not even close like you just met the dude like, why are you, like, ranting and raving over Superman and, and constantly talking about Superman? Like, he's obsessed. Like, the Batman in the movies <laughs> is really obsessed with Superman. And Batman v Superman, he was obsessed with him in a negative light, which caused him, I think, within the, uh, the time span of two years to, like, plan and find some kind of way to, like, kill Superman, uh, hurt Kryptonians until he finally did it. And I'm telling you, this is my theory. I spoke on it before. Batman, because Batman is obsessed, I'm telling you, I know for a fact, Batman has Superman's body. He is he is trying to bring him back to life. What I believe, if they bring back Superman, he better be in this fucking movie. Uh, before I get into the, uh, my theory, from the trailers that I've seen, both Zack Snyder and Josh Whedon's ass got me thinking, like, what if they don't fucking put Superman in the movie? You know, like, he's just in, like, that stupid-ass flashback. You know, I, I, I'm sorry to call it stupid-ass. I'm just upset because I feel like this motherfucker, he, he should be front line, front line in the movie, you know? But that super flashback with uh, Lois dreaming he's in the cornfield back at Kansas. He's, oh, I take that as yes. So what you talking about, nigga? the ring oh my bad <laughs> yeah yeah you know it better not be flashback dream sequences or whatever like that you know it better not be 
I don't want to see no dream sequence of, I don't want to see a reenactment of Batman's Nightmare from Batman v Superman with Superman in his suit. And that's how he's in the movie. He's not, he's not like living or, yeah, living in real time with the League fighting against uh, dark size, you know, minions. He better be in the movie. Because they fucked up. I, I want to karate chop Zack Snyder's throat so bad. Why would you kill Superman, Batman v Superman? You know, you just eliminate the possibilities of a Superman solo film. You could have did the death of Superman. Or you could have did a death and return of Superman. And then, like, another uh, another continuation of the movie could have been, like, the reign of the Supermen. When, like, all four different cats coming out claiming to be the one and only Superman. You know, like, you could have did so much. Like, you, you guys need to really, really cut the shit. Um, trying to catch up to Marvel. Because Marvel laid out their foundation from years. When it comes to Marvel, like the relationship that they try to um, like kind of like stuff down our throats between Batman, you know, and how he feels about Superman make would make more sense if it was uh, like say an Avengers movie and Captain America died, you know. Like maybe like what if they did like uh what was it? Oh, after Civil War, you know, they did the same thing. Captain America died. And then, like, Tony Stark, he's, like, all butthurt about Captain America. And then they probably could have spliced in, like, secret invasions or who knows, you know, uh, and bring Captain America back that way. But in the meantime, you have Tony, you know, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man, you know, all butthurt. And he's, like, inspiring people to, you know, to have the mentality like Captain America. Because Captain America is, mentality-wise, like, his... His morale is like Superman. Like he never gives up. You know, he brings he brings um all his other uh, Avengers friends together so they can accomplish and triumph over whatever evil that they're facing. That's Superman. So it would make more sense if I saw something like that in a Marvel movie because we had several movies with these characters and we had plenty of times to fall in love with these characters. You know, with the solo movies, with the group movies like Avengers, even with solo movies where you have like other actors cameoing in that movie. Like in Captain America's uh, uh, Winter Soldier with Scarlett Johansson or in, um, in the Civil War with all the... It's re that was really Avengers 2. Civil War was really Avengers 2. It really was. Avengers 2. And uh, Infinity War, in my opinion, is going to be Avengers 3. But, yeah, like, you know, we had years with these characters. To fall in love with these characters, to know more. I learned a lot about, you know, uh, some of these characters that I didn't even know was true. Until, I, you know, I, I, I like, wiki it or Google it or whatever. You know, like, I didn't even know it was true. So, stuff like that would make sense, you know, because of what we've seen and been through with these characters in these movies. But like Batman, yeah, dude, like you just tried to kill this man in the last movie. Like why you keep bringing him up? So like here's my theory. After the events uh, after, um Batman v Superman, Batman I think he either stole or maybe like got like some schematics Am I saying that word right? Schematics, whatever. Yeah, uh, and uh, of the Kryptonian tech, basically copying the Kryptonian tech from the ship, and reverse engineering the tech in his back cave, the Genesis Matrix, and took Clark's body, dumped him in that matrix, and he's healing. And I think what's probably like, I think it, it might take a little longer. What's probably taking so long, because you know Bruce, it might be his like his first time recreating or uh, reverse engineering this type of tech coming from the ship so he probably can't get it all the way right but good enough to actually heal superman after a certain period of time that's what i think i think just like how in batman for superman they portray um batman so obsessed with superman that he planned his demise uh through the course of two years and i believe now that he so-called trusts Superman or he believes Superman is the light at the end of the tunnel or whatever, he's obsessed yet again. So obsessed that immediately after the funeral, he took the body, brought him back to the Batcave. 
uh, reverse engineer the Genesis Matrix. And I think that's how Superman is going to get back. If it's not that, then somehow, Dooms uh, not Doomsday, uh, Darkseid got the body, gave Superman's body to uh, to the Furies. Uh, what's name? What's like late Lady Goodness, or Grandma Goodness, Miss Goodness. I forgot what her name, but she runs the Furies for Darkseid, and she brainwashed motherfuckers. And whenever uh, Darkseid gets lucky enough to to knock either Superman or Supergirl unconscious and kidnap him and bring him back to Apocalypse. That's what he does. He give them to Gra Granny Goodness. That's her name. He give them, He gives them to Granny Goodness and she brainwashes them too to serve Darkseid. So I can see that would be epic. That would be hot as fuck. I don't see how, you know, between this version of Steppenwolf and a, a corrupted uh, brainwashed Superman, I don't see how the lead, they couldn't win. I, I can't, can't see how they would win. But uh, that would be hot. That's the only two ways I could see how Superman come back. But I'm, I'm leaning more towards Batman bringing him back. Batman brought him back. He reverse engineered the Genesis Matrix and brought him back. That would explain why Afro was like, you know, he said you'll come. Now let's hope. And looking at his, let's hope. Looking at his chest, like the area where his chest was. Let's hope you're not too late. I think it's Superman. I, I really do think it's Superman. I hope it's not Supergirl. People keep. Like, time I, oh, it might be Supergirl. Ain't nobody even, like, tease as far as, like, the powers that be. Ain't nobody even tease about a Supergirl making an appearance. And it'll be so dumb. Like, like where the fuck you come from? You know, like, okay, we, we, we got our fan theories. We saw the pod, and you got the, like, the prequel to Batman v Superman in the comic. Okay, whatever. We ain't heard boo since then. Nothing official. So, like, don't just... Th shove no fucking Supergirl down our throats, man. Like, she better not fucking show up before, especially before Superman. You know, like, like please, like, don't don't make this, the movies dumb. Don't make it stupid. But I have full confidence that this movie's gonna be awesome. And I'm so hyped. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. Uh, there was something else I wanted to mention, too. Um, What was it? Damn, I can't remember. There was some um, discrepancies about this movie and Batman vs Superman related. Oh, so here's something I'm hoping that they do. I'm gonna be mighty upset that they don't do, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna end it with this with this thought. Justice League. Batman's trying to rally, rally the league up, get his own team so he can uh, they can fight the the forces of Dark Side's minions. And Suicide Squad, Batman was getting intel, like sensitive intel about other metahumans like Aquaman and Flash from Amanda Waller. In the comics and even in the cartoons, Batman had very, very little workings with Amanda Waller. Like they never saw eye to eye. They... They both want the same thing, but Amanda's a little bit on the extreme of things. Like, she don't have no problems killing about five people, you know, for the sake of maybe like five million people. That's that's her that's her my uh, way of thinking, you know, sacrifice one to save a million. You know, that's her way of thinking. Batman's like, why do that when you can save everyone or at least try to save everyone? So, um... So I'm surprised that they, you know, they kind of added that dynamic in Suicide Squad. Like these, it seems like they're like partnering up to go against, you know, uh, other metahumans, you know, or uh, potential threats. So I'm thinking, okay, I remember seeing the scene in uh, Justice League, the trailer, the uh, Justice League trailer, where Commissioner Gordon said, uh, "Do you have enough?" I mean, uh, how many of there are you? And Batman's like, "Not enough." If you're working in the movies, if you're working with Amanda Waller, why don't you add her Suicide Squad in it? Or whatever forces, the the government, the, you know, army soldiers, just like uh, <coughs> when Stephen Wolf come to invade. And I know they got a prequel where it shows like um, they have three mother boxes, three factions on the good side. You got the humans, you got the Atlanteans, and you got the Amazons. So in present day, why not just like rekindle that same scenario humans atlanteans amazons uh come up with some kind of creative way 
that the Amazons call the boom tube or somehow trans uh, teleport or transport from uh, Thenoscara, Thenoscara, the you know island of moist bitches, to you know the land of men that they said. So they can ally or uh, partner up with like the government, the the U.S. Army government, whatever you know with uh, you know with Amanda Waller Waller pushing them. And um, Aquaman get a uh, rally of the Atlanteans, you know, to fight this force once again, you know, along with the Justice League. That will be serious. I would like to see something like that because it makes sense. If Amanda Waller is willing, Amanda Waller will just give you information for no reason. I believe Batman had to do something for her, but I don't know what it is yet because she's not going to just do, do you a favor. You, you're going to have to do something for her. But for them to have that kind of dealings and for her to do what she did, she's aware of what's coming, you know. So they should be, you know, teamed up. The way they portrayed it, like they was teamed up. They was allied up, partnered up. She gave him some information to uh, to help with his uh, with his crusade to uh, to save the planet. But will she also, you know, uh, contribute? And get like the U.S. government involved, or maybe she got other metahumans. It'll be hot if, uh, if like, uh, she get like some fodder metahumans part of the Suicide Squad. You know, people that nobody care about. Like, uh, there's like this Russian guy. He's a Batman villain, I believe. Russian guy. He got like a mechanical arm. He was in uh, one of the Batman, uh, one of the Batman animated movies. I think Escape from Arkham or something like something like that. Him. Him and King Shark or whatever that big shark. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the big shark hulk looking dude, you know, characters like that. Characters that nobody care about. Most likely probably even heard about where you could just kill them off and nobody would be mad about it. You know, who cares? You know, do that. Rally up like five, six of them and like, you know, use use these guys. Or you can even uh, introduce Lobo into uh the DC universe, DC universe, uh, as far as like, uh, have Amanda Waller bringing some of her suicide squad, some new squad members that we ain't see, you know, to help along with the justice league, not necessarily be with the justice league, but they're there helping with the fight. You know, that would be serious, but yeah, that's all I want to talk about guys. I'm just hyped. I, I didn't mean to uh, talk this long. I wasn't uh, planning on talking this long. I'm doing my break right now. Um, after uh, doing my route from work so i'm just i'm just so excited guys i'm so excited i can't wait to see this movie and i will be of course i'll be reviewing it i'll see you there peace out